No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't need a loan. No, really. I thank you. I don't need a loan. Oof. Do you also get these calls, messages, and mails about how you have qualified for a paperless loan that can be sanctioned in no time? It has become so easy to get a loan, right? For that matter, credit cards and overdrawing facilities on your account. Everything has only one agenda: how to get you to buy more and more things, spend your own money. Whether you own or borrow, doesn't matter actually. Just spend the money. The process is easy, requires minimal paperwork, doesn't need you to come to the bank even. And if it is not the banks, then there are private lenders. But let's pause for a second and understand how we can make smart choices when it comes to easy access to loans. Because loans are good and bad too. Now we know that not everyone is born rich. and that we all have the right to dream and have aspirations for a better life and traditionally loans have helped doing that for generations we have taken loans to buy a home to get an education to buy a new vehicle and those are legit loans in fact in lending they qualify as good loans loans that you take to significantly add value to your life more like you're investing for a better life mostly when banks service you these loans the due diligence is done from their end Secured loans are always against some collateral. Plus, the bankers themselves check whether your current income allows you to take a loan of that amount. However, even then, you need to be careful about certain things. जैसे कि आपकी लोन की मंथली इंस्टॉलमेंट जो है वो आपकी सैलरी की अमाउंट से आधी होनी चाहिए. Low interest rates, high interest rates से ज़्यादा बेटर है. और उसी से जुड़ी है तीसरी सलाह. low tenure payback cycles are better than high tenure payback cycles saath mein aapke paas apna loan pura ek saath chukane ka bhi option hona chahiye hmm what else be timely in paying your installments as that also affects your credit score if you ever settle an existing loan or credit on your name without paying off your full dues it will adversely impact your credit scores and it might take your credit scores years to recover from that blow you must take insurance coverage for big loans to protect your family from debt burden if something were to happen to you and always always remember just because getting a loan is easy doesn't mean you need to take that loan in india people borrow money for weddings vacations or for maintaining a certain lifestyle please remember these are likely loans that have a tendency to financially spiral you in a mess don't borrow to invest in shares don't give in to ipo mania and apply for all the ipos that come up do your research and invest smartly look at the credit cards did you know every time you delay or default on your payments it affects your credit score and a bad credit score will actually not help you get that big loan that you want for important things in life Loans or borrowing in principle therefore is a great mechanism for improving your quality of life and growing and it also helps the lenders be it bank country individuals as they further reinvest that money lekin tab bhi kuch cheezon ko aapko dhyan mein rakhna hai for example you have been saving money and now say you have 7 lakhs which happens to be the same amount as the cost of the car that you have been wanting to buy instead of spending your entire savings on buying that car a smart way to go about it would be to make a down payment of say 20% of the total amount and take a loan against your income that way you can spread out your expenses for the car over a period of time and make use of the remaining 80% for investments and unforeseen expenses which will ensure a safer approach and a better rate of return over time and as always i remind you You must always speak to your financial advisor for all your banking and lending related queries. They are the best experts to guide you in making responsible financial decisions.